Fong. So here we are now with a friend of yours. Brett Smiley. Brett Smiley. Good to so see you nice, again. Nice Always to good meet to you. see you. So nice I'd to meet you. Before. Not yet, That's but I day. hope we meet again and again. And okay. today is National Teddy Bear Day. Would you like a teddy bear? Uh, oh, it's a gummy bear? Yeah, sure. I'm going to put it in my pocket and save it for later. I've got a trip you to can, the dentist. i got to be at. Everybody's talking yeah, yeah, the don't, dentist don't, don't today. Don't those yeah. before the dentist. Today is like a dentist <laughs> day. Um, someone I know was supposed to go when they canceled, actually. But Oh, okay. Well, actually, um, I, I just changed mine around. I rescheduled so I could be... Your dentist time. works late. Yeah, she does. She does. It's like, you know, then we go out for a drink after, too. Ah. Brett has a show tomorrow. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, um, Do it all before we forget the, anything. Uh, the information. Oh, you, oh, okay. I brought one of those along. Oh, where, where is it? Let's, let's say it all out loud. Where it is. It's actually at the Envoy Gallery on Christie Street, 131 Christie. Oh, okay. And, uh, it's actually a book Near release. Sammy's? It's a book release party. Um, for a sci-fi author, he's a New York Times best-selling author. Wow. He's written um, a series. I haven't read it. That's all I'm getting. What I'm getting out of the thing is they're giving me an autograph copy of the book. Okay. But his name's John Twelve Hawks, and um, he's written a series of books all about you know living in this um, video monitored society. Right. Where watched and and then people living off the grid, so to speak. So. Um, oh, so they're no, still away. No, no credit card, no cell phone, or disposable. Ah. Whatever, whatever. Hopefully this away. I mean, I, I'm pretty good at living under the radar. You think so? Can, yeah. How do you know? I, well, <laughs> <laughs> my life's an open right? book. Exactly. How do you know? I, I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> Speaking Supposedly, of books, yes. there was a book written about Brett by Nina Antonia. Wow. Called The Prettiest Star. Aw. And uh, Brett and I came up in the, uh, in the glam rock era. Yeah, I actually brought a little surprise, a record that bo- both you and I are on. I just gave it to wow. you. Wow. That's, that's on, on that book. Okay. That was me in 1974, wow. by the way. Right. She sure was pretty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'd think twice on that to myself. I guess. Uh, but uh, that was some time ago. But uh, no, a woman, uh, I was actually, I was working at an acting school in downtown New York, and um just out of left field, it was all organic. She contacted me, and then uh, actually Phil King, a gentleman, Phil King, wanted to put. Um, yeah, I know Phil. Yeah, yeah. He, he w- approached me about a record called Velvet Ten Mine, which I which yeah. I brought along. It's got it's got and one we're of on your that old together, yeah. And, yeah, and that's where Alan yeah, and I really yeah. really teamed up after yeah. all these years. Is actually. that where you met? Um, after the fact. After, after the, the fact, fact, through through a f- mutual friend, Paulina. Matsukas. Yeah, I yeah. I don't. Yes, I okay, came. Yeah. Um, yes, Miss Matsukas. Yes, yes Miss the Matsukas. princess. Yes, yes, <laughs> but um. Um, back in the 70s in England, what's the old joke? It really does apply. You know, if I could remember it, we weren't really there. You know, yeah, that really was, there was that like was very yeah. wild times. Those, well, those yeah. years of youth, right? Yeah, is that, that right. what you mean? Yeah, very innocent, album. very innocent times. It is innocent because yeah, you don't know. Oh, yeah, that, which I actually have a poster for you. You can put it up here. This is. Oh, that would be great. A friend was trying to help me with all this in, in, in L.A., trying to, you know, be a, quote, manager, unquote, you know, like Entourage back that just yeah, came yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah, they, they have a manager, but, and he tried, but he wound up in rehab. I mean, so the music business is still really happening. Oh, <laughs> it is. I, well, <laughs> isn't it? Well, yeah, thanks to rehab. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, wait. Are you oh, giving rehab right. a thumbs up or, uh, or well, a no? Question that's up mark. for you to decide. That's up for you to decide. Well, this you know, the, yeah, this is yeah, this was on RPM, was it? Brett, uh, Brett? Yeah, it came. It was recorded. Very in New York Dolls looking. I have to in, say, that was 1974. Before the Dolls, and uh, it came out. David Johansson yeah. looks like that still. It, yeah, I, I know. It, ca- it came out in 2003. I th- were you his role model or something? It's because a, it looks like. I knew David. I still do. I've I've met him a bunch of times, but he looks. Like that. Well, we're both pretty thin. I know. I know that. his wife. His hair is not as light. No, and but my, it's my just as yellow. long, at least. Hey, he's working though. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's working. That's Katie right. Simon's his wife, the photographer. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Actually, Fantastic the band woman. is really. When I when I when I heard their new stuff, it's just a big smile comes on my face. It is just so. They're really enjoying what they're doing. It's and, fun. And, and I. And you can actually. A friend of mine was saying how he went to a concert the other night. Well, not the other night. A few weeks ago. Um, a month or so ago, while well, the Dolls were playing, there were two other bands, and they were so loud, he couldn't take it. But the Dolls, they at least have sound people, and they know the dynamics right. of when to tone down so David can shine. You know, it's like there's like, yeah, uh, which a lot of bands these days don't pay much. I saw a band, actually. Dynamics, was, yeah. I saw this kid called AC, AC Slade, who actually was really good, but it was so loud, it almost knocked me on the floor. And I said, oh, my God, don't they have, I guess they don't need dynamics these days. But Well, yeah. it doesn't hurt. It. 
Well, exactly. Yeah. They well, everybody, not. Wears, you know, I was going to have to cut a cigarette filter and stick the cotton in my ear because it was that loud, and I felt. It. But they were good. They did have all the. It was like the Bay City Rollers 2009. That's really wow. what it was. You know, it's like because it, it was that catchy and that Poppy. sort of stuff, but loud. Oh, where was it? Um, at a place I used to know as Downtime. Mm. Oh, okay, and Rebel. Now it's called Rebel, yeah. right? Same. And I went. And I go. Wait, man. this used to be Downtime. It's like I've been I out of the loop. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it always loop. comes back to 30th Street. Sure, yeah, yeah. I guess oh, so. Boy. Yeah, I know that That's building where, well too. Yeah, Kirk Studio hey, was that uh, exactly. planet. Yeah. Hey, I tore a ligament in my right leg at that building. Oh, really? Yeah, and the other the other leg I. Toward the ligament. I mean, it was a, the 70s were a wild time. Um, I, I remember 